Hey yo, what's up y'all and welcome to my crib. Y'all, I'm gonna show you my room. It's my room where I keep all my items and where I sleep and shower. Next up, we have my sister's room. This is my living space. My possessions and my bed. And that's mostly it. This is my little brother's room. He may it may be a mess, but he's gone with the finesse. This is my room. My bed's a little mess. But I got this boy that can mess with it. Now everybody, it's my parents' room. Next up is the living room. The living room. This is where we do stuff and do school. Have the outdoor areas where we do things outdoors. What's up? I'm Bentley's DAD, T O Double D. Alright y'all, I hope you like my crib and I'll see you back next time. Peace out, boys. Alright guys, so right now we are about to uh, go through a canal. We are about to go through a left cod uh, canal and it was dug by the Corinthians in, uh, like a long time ago. And uh, yeah, it's a canal and we're about to go through it. Once upon a time, in a land far away, Princess Cadence was sleeping. She owned the vast majority of land and loved to look at it every single day. One day, she woke up from her slumber and went to look at the land. And Princess Cadence wasn't scared of attackers for one reason, one reason for all. She had her ninjas. One of her top and best ninjas, named Bentley Whedon, trained day and night to become her best ninja. He was going to be crowned Ninja King, but then they came in. Yes, three little children, younger than Bentley, took his ninja spot because they were small and fast. Bentley was angry and he shouted at the princess to let him become top ninja, but the princess dismissed him and sent him off to another land. In another land, he still trained because he really, really wanted to be top ninja. And then one, one day he set out after training hard and he went to ask the queen if he could become her ninja king. He begged her and begged her, but she just shook her head and smiled. He then said he'd kill her, but then she just called the ninja. They went running out and tried to attack Bentley. First Asher, then Izzy, then Beckham. Bentley then got ready to fight them and ran at them. He first did a ninja kick and kicked Asher down. Then Izzy came and fought him and knocked him all the way down. Beckham then jumped in and elbowed him. He was in a lot of pain, but he went up to fight them. He threw Beckham off of him, but then Izzy came and stomped him down. Go! He then left just like what Izzy said, and he never returned to the kingdom. Hey guys, uh, today is the 22nd, which means that today is Beckham's birthday. He turned 7 today, and this morning we opened presents and we played some games. And right now we're about to go into a, heat, a sparkling cave, and tomorrow we're going to go to right, a shipwreck island. Got it. Because it feels so good. This might be one, so let's just get in here first. What happened? What happened? 
Well, it's supposed to be real blue. Like the wa the bottom of the water. Yeah, oh. it looks like rock there. I don't see any blue. Hold on. Wow, look at the water. <gasps> look down, look how blue. Oh, that's what they call it, the blue grotto. Look at all the purple over here. Wow. This is mesmerizing. Can you like go in it like a circle and I can get a three? Oh, look. Oh, look at how it turns it blue. Can you see that ring? Uh-huh. That's why they say there's lines. Look at my hand. Yeah, and that one goes just flying by going like, Cool. 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 Like they'll go in and dive the cave. They die? Dive. Alright guys, since yesterday was back on his birthday, uh, today we're going to a beach where there's a shipwreck. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh we're exploring again and guess where we're, where we are in uh we are in Olympia and Olympia might sound familiar to you. It's where they held the Olympic Games. We're gonna go explore it and we're gonna go uh run on the same track that they ran. Mr. Vice President Mr. Madison Senator Burr What is this? We have the check stubs from separate accounts. Almost a thousand dollars paid in different amounts to a Mr. James Reynolds way back in 1791. Is that what you have? Are you done? You are uniquely situated by virtue of your position. Though virtue is not a word I'd apply to this situation. To seek financial gain, to stray from your sacred mission. And the evidence suggests you engaged in speculation. An immigrant embezzling our government funds. I can almost see the headline, your career is done. I hope you save some money for your daughter and sons. Your best one run back where you come from. You don't even know what you're asking me to confess. confess You have nothing, I don't have to tell you anything at all Unless, Unless. If I can prove that I never broke the law Do you promise not to tell another soul what you saw? No one else was in the room where it happened Is that a yes? Um, right, yes I hope you liked the video and make sure you subscribe And probably next week I'll be doing a short film